Ya. Muna asomo kanga mkute. Ebi okuruanyi sama sogaba ganda ba mwe. Aba naba isira hili. Aba sadya bona aba zira. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are possessing, there must be war. My friend, you are lost. How are you? Muse, are you okay? Who is uh, holding your money? Today you are going to live with your money here. We have come for war. We are taking our things. By force, by fire. Murilo, nampaka. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. When you are taking your possession, there must be war. The enemy is not going to allow you Wabanga. just to agree. Because, <laughs> hey. Wabango tuwa levi intubye, wali no kubawa olu talo, kubango mrawe takenda kukiriza bitu wala. When God was sending Moses to Egypt in Exodus chapter 3, he told him, I have heard the cry of my children. I have heard the cry of my people. I want you to deliver them from Pharaoh. And he warned Moses this Pharaoh is not going to let these people go easily. He is going to be stubborn. You, you are trying to be born again with a soft heart. Oh, hallelujah, my child of God. I am very humble. Pharaoh is not a joke. Pharaoh died, but the spirit of Pharaoh did not die. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And the land which God is taking his children, it is already occupied by some giants. Where God wants you to occupy is already occupied by other giants. That job you want is already occupied by other better people than you. According to the human eyes. That man you are saying is your husband. There are other girls eyeing him. Very beautiful than you. As a man, that woman you are looking at and is saying, This one is my only being in my maze. There are other people also saying, She's my only being in my maze. Are you understanding? Amina. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Today there must be war. Let's read Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 15. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 15. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 15. Sorry. The Bible says in the book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 15. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will fill them, even the people. Nehemiah. I said Nehemiah, not Jeremiah. Nehemiah. Nehemiah 9 verse 15. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and brought water for them out of the lock for their dust. And you told them to go in and possess the land you had sworn to give them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Read for us, please, in Uganda. Nova Jira Mazimuazi or Renyo Tayawe. 
No bala gira ba yingira okuria ensi je wayi musiza je wayi musiza Hallelujah Amen The Bible says Bible yegamba God after you know showing them signs and wonders Katonda ngamanyo ngamazo balage byamagero nebye unyisa those things you call miracles. Hey Lord, I need a miracle. I need a, a miracle is not the plan of God. A miracle is just like you want a, it is an emergency has happened and you need help immediately. God wants you to possess your possession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Giving you manna, giving you sometimes, he gives you some small money, some allowance, and you survive. That is not the plan of God. The bigger picture, there is a bigger picture for God for you in your life. And the bigger picture for God is to settle you in a good place. These things, things of miracle, small money today, ah, Lord, I thank you for this miracle. Then tomorrow, there's nothing. You cry again. Baba, I need a miracle. That is not the plan of God. God has a bigger picture for you and me. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I am not hearing people saying amen. But the Bible says God told them that Go in. Go in. Go in. Mugende mu ingire. Hallelujah. There is your part. God has already given you what you want, but there is your part to play. Katonda yakuwa debi into be away tagana or in naturally no kora. Hallelujah. Amen. God has already given you that thing you want, but He's telling you. Go in. Katonda ya mala dokuwe toche weta gana ya kugamba yingida. Go in that office you want a job. Go in. Yingida mo office yo ya gara mo mulimu. Go in that company you want a business. Go in. Genda mo company yo ya gara mo business. Go in where you saw that lady. You admire her to be your wife. Go in and talk to her. Genda o gende o yo mokazi gowe gombie o mogambe o yo gire na ye. Ladies, I know you, you cannot go in and propose to her. Man, you. you are saying that one is not for ladies. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Go in. Genda. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And today we are going to enter. Lero Genda Kuyingida. We are going to enter. To Genda Kuyingida. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Let's read the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 29. Matthew 12 verse 29. Matthew 12 verse 29. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is the place we are going to enter today. Matthew 12 29. What does it say? Or how can a person go into a strong, strong man's house and carry off his goods, the entire equipment of his house, without first binding the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder his house. Hallelujah. Luganda, Matthew 12, verse 29. Wagamba we wati. Oba, omutu wa inzacha okuigi ya mutu yomutu o waman. Nanyagebi intubye. Wabulanga sose kusiba owama nyoli. Nari okanyaga enjuye. Hallelujah. The Bible or Jesus is the one talking about these house. Yesu ya yogela kwene nyumba. There is a demon called a strong man. Wali wamo zimo guitiwa omsajo wama anyi. 
Every family has a strong man. These demons or hierarchies of demons are the one in charge of dictating who is going to get what, who is not going to get what. They are the ones who are responsible of stealing from you and me. And once they steal, they take it to a warehouse or a bank. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And this man is not an ordinary man. He's really strong. Jesus is recognizing this demon or this spirit being strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Are you understanding? Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Today I told you I came with the fire. It is going, it's going to be very short but very powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are entering in this house, satanic warehouses. We are entering today. Anyone here who your life, the life you are living is not yours, you can know this is not my life, this is not what God has created me to be, and you know you are convicted, I'm telling you today, God is going to restore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you ready to pray? The Bible says there is a strong man. In every family, there are these demons called strong man or strong woman. Their work is to steal from you and me. Once they steal, they we, take it to their house. Today, the Lord is releasing angels that are going to storm in that house of the strong man or woman. And any blessing that has never a name or your name on it the angels are going to release it to you today if God will open you your eyes and see in the spiritual realm I happen to God to open my eyes today and I was taken in a room that room had small small cabinets small cabinets small cabinets and every cabinet that is where they have locked your blessing they have stolen and put there and I was praying God everyone that is going to attend that service and their blessings are in that room let it be released I am praying for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to bind every strong man or woman in your family begin to bind the Bible says how can we enter in a strong man's house without first binding him Begin, the Bible says Bible God has given us authority. Whatever we bind here on earth, 
it is bound in heaven and whatever we lose on in in heaven, it is loose in the earth begin to bind that strong man bind, 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 bind him bind him every strong man in my life every strong man in my life I bind you now I bind you now I bind you now I bind you now Bind, 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 bind. Pastor Maureen, help me. Pastor Maureen, help me with the microphone. Help me to pray. Help me to pray. Bind, 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 bind. Help me to pray. Help me to pray. Pray with these people. Help them. Energize them. Every strong man. Every strong man. Every strong man, every strong woman. Yeah, in my life, we bind you, we bind you, we bind you, we bind you. Pray, 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 pray. Every strong man, every strong man. Pray, 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 pray. Bind it, bind, 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 bind. Bind, 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 bind. Pray, pray, bind that strong man. That strong man in my family. That strong man in my family. That strong man in my life. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. Bind the strong man. Bind the strong man. Bind the strong man. Bind the strong man. Pray, 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 pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Find the strong man. Find the strong man. Every strong man in my life. I find you now. I find you now. I bind you now. I bind you now. I bind you now. I bind you now. Every strong man. I bind you. I bind you, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus name in Jesus name are you ready to enter in the house of the strong man now? You are the one who knows how they have stolen from you. You are the one who knows where they have put you now. You know the suffering they have put you. Every time you are expecting a breakthrough, you find there is nothing. Every time you are expecting some help, you find that person has stopped helping you. That is the work of of the strong man. I want you to pray with holy anger. I want you to pray with holy anger. Say, O oh Lord, oh Lord, release your angels in satanic bars, in satanic warehouses, in the house of the strong man. Release your A warrior angels. Release your warrior angels. Let them locate my blessings. Let them locate my blessings. Let them release them unto me today. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. 
pray, 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 pray. Release your angels, Lord. Let them enter in satanic warehouse. Let them enter in satanic path. Let them lay. Release my blessing today. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The book of Job chapter 20 verse 15. Job chapter 20 verse 15. Yobu Abiri. Le parados teketea. Job chapter 20 verse 15. Yobu Abiri kuminatano. The Bible says, Bible in Jesus' name, listen, listen. The Bible says in Job chapter 20, verse 15, Bible he has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Luganda, read for us, read for us, read for us. Uganda don't sleep. Where are you? Job chapter 20 verse 15. Wagamba we wati. Yamiro bugaga. Yamiro bugaga. Era anabu anabu sesema anabu sesema ngana te. You may be seated. We are going to pray. I want you now, I want to teach you a bit now. What is happening here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to teach you what is happening here. God is talking to Job about a spirit called Levithia. This is a spirit that is responsible for poverty, for debts, because it lives under the sea. 
Kubanga guli gubela wansi wenyanja. In the book of Isaiah 27 verse 1. You can read there. Very fast you can show us there. The Bible says Isaiah 27 verse 1. In that day the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Levithian the piercing serpent. Even the Levithian that crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Luganda, Isaiah 27, verse 7. Ah, verse 1. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a spirit that lives in the sea. This is a marine spirit. Now I want you to listen here carefully. When God sent Moses to Egypt. Are we together? Hallelujah. Amen. And when Pharaoh accepted to release the children of Israel from Egypt. What did they find that was stopping them to continue? The Red Sea, right? Hallelujah. When they are just leaving Egypt and now they are saying bye bye Egypt, they see Red Sea ahead of them and the Pharaoh is following them behind. And most these spirits of the water, they are called marine spirits, and Leviathan being the dragon, he is notorious of swallowing riches. He doesn't swallow poverty, he swallows riches. Leviathan is the one responsible of 99% of poverty of believers. Marine powers. Marine spirits. Most of you, if I can start now prophesying, anytime you are about to get a breakthrough, you find attacks in your dream. You find if you are a woman, you see someone is using you as you are a wife. If you are a man, you find yourself, you wake up in the morning, you are wet everywhere like you are having. Hallelujah. Amen. Marine spirits. Hallelujah, somebody. But today, somebody said today, this Leviathan is going to vomit our riches. Somebody say, hey, it is me, it is me you are talking about. This Leviathan is going to vomit today. Our riches in the name of Jesus Christ. These marine powers, they are not a joke. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Every time you are going to your destiny, every time you are about to reach your destiny, these powers, they have 
to face you or you have to face them. But I have good news for you. I have someone called Jesus Christ. Who has given us power above this principalities, this marine powers. And I am not just talking to please you. In Matthew chapter 14 verse 22. Jesus demonstrated dominion over every power in the sea. Yesu yalaga obuyinza kubulimanyi gonna gonna Matthew chapter 14 1 4 verse 22 Matayo 19 19 What does the Bible say Matayo 19 19 Matthew chapter 14 verse 22 And straight away Jesus constrained his disciples those children someone take care of those children please and straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side where he sent the multitudes away. Verse 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Verse 24. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with the waves, for the wind was contrary. Verse 25. And in the fourth watch, that is around 3 a.m. in the morning, up to 6 a.m., those are the watches. The first watch starts from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The second watch from 9 p.m. to midnight. The third watch, midnight to 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is the fourth watch. So Jesus wakes up early to pray. Do you wake up early to pray like Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Or you, you wake up in which watch? Jesus, this is his secret. He used to wake up at 3 a.m. and pray. Actually, he had, even he was, he had stopped, he had finished praying. At 3 a.m., Jesus had finished praying. Meaning he had started earlier he started in midnight. Are you understanding? Are you understanding something today? He had already stopped. He had finished praying at the fourth watch. In the fourth watch of the night, that is around 3 a.m., Jesus had finished praying and went to the disciples walking on the sea. Hello? Hello? Did your grandfather walk on the sea? Seven. Did your grandfather walk on the sea? <laughs> Hallelujah. Read for us. First word. Yeah. Matthew chapter 14, 22, 25. Wagamba wewati. Amangwa abo. Nawalidisaba <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 26. Uh, it is me reading. Now you are going to read after I read. You have read up to 25. Let me read in, in English. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Verse 27. But straight away Jesus spoke unto them saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Verse 28. 
And Peter answered and say, uh, answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bind me to come unto thee on the water. Verse 29. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Hallelujah. You can read for us. Nebera likirira, nebaga mbanti daimo, nebeka anga ngabatia, abili musamu. Amangu ako yesu na yogera nabo, na gambanti, mude muo muoyo, nze nzuno temutia, abili munana. Pete donadam, na gambanti, mukama wange, umanga kwe muyo, ndagidan njije jori kumazi, abili mwenda. Na gambanti jangu, pete donava mdiato, you can stop there. You, you have read more before, up to that. Me, I read up to 29. Hallelujah. Listen here. What it is that? The Bible says Jesus walked on the sea. Peter walked on the water. Peter Jesus walked on the sea, but Peter walked on the water. What yes, does it mean? Yes, The sea is more than water. The sea is including even the creatures, the spirits. The animals that live in under the water. Do you know in the new world there will be no sea? In new Jerusalem, the new world that God is going to create, according to the revelation, heaven and earth will disappear. Even the sea, it will dry up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Go and read your Bible very well. It says there will be no sea. In the new Jerusalem, there will be no sea. Meaning, in the sea, there are things that live there that are against us. And God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Peter walked on water, meaning he walked. Water is a symbol of the word of God. We walk on the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6. What does the Bible say? Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I saw unto their fathers to give them. Verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous that they may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Thou may prosper wherever you go. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of them, thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Luganda, read for us. Yoswa emu mokaga paka kumonana. Wagamba we wati. Damu amani. Mumoyo kubanga. Gori basikiriza abatu kona. Enseno. Yenala irida. Bajajaba, Oh, 
Okwe kumanga okukora nga mateka gona wegali Musa okwele za wange Gye ya kula gira Tocha amanga Tocha amanga Okuleka kumukono kwa dio Ne wangu kwa do kwa kono Oli oke owe wengu mkisa Brijono danga yona Hallelujah Hallelujah somebody God wants us to be strong 